In this video, I'm gonna be setting myself a challenge to try out Amazon FBA for the next 30 days to see if it's possible to actually make any money. This will be my first time dealing with Amazon from a seller's point of view. So everything that I do in this video will be completely new to me and I'm gonna to have to learn it step by step. I'm also going to be setting myself a budget of $400, which actually works out to be around 320 pounds in my own currency. So hopefully this will be enough for me to actually get started. And I hope this will give everyone a good insight as to whether you can actually start Amazon FBA with a smaller budget. So first things first, I'm obviously gonna need an Amazon seller account. So I've now signed up and given all my details and information in order to register for my Amazon seller account, but I now have to wait for a verification call, which will happen in two days time. And then from there, we can begin to source some products and hopefully begin to sell and make some money. Okay, I've just had my verification call and it looks like everything went really well. So I can now actually log into my Amazon seller dashboard, which you guys can hopefully see there. So I'm now going to spend the next hour or so just watching some YouTube videos on Amazon FBA. This way I can actually try to wrap my head around it. And then from there, hopefully I should have a good understanding and then we can begin sourcing some products. You can see that we're going to sell the entertainers and I can sell this exact product, I was just checking everything. I now have a general idea as to how all of this works and how to actually list a product on Amazon. And when it does come down to sourcing a product, there does actually seem to be a few opinions on the best way to do this. One being that you find a winning product on Amazon and then once you've identified it, you then go to find a supplier who can provide these goods to you at a cheap price where you can then obviously make profit on top of. And the other way to do this is basically the complete opposite. So you would actually instead research to find the best suppliers you then browse through their products to see which ones you can find and then hopefully you can find one that's cheap enough that you can make profit on top of so being that I don't actually have a product research tool and the one that keeps being hyped up is called jangle scout and this one actually cost $149 for a three-month subscription which would actually wipe out a fair bit of my budget so instead I'm going to try to use as many free resources and tools as I can locate online with that I'm going to go ahead and try source a product here now and then try to get something ordered. Okay, so after spending some time looking around for legitimate suppliers, I then finally came down to one supplier who really stood out to me. And then from there, I went to research around 10 to 15 different products. I then managed to settle on some baby bear soft toys, though I only actually ordered 12 units of this product as I first wanna test out the process of listing them on Amazon and then having them shipped into the warehouse as well. Okay, so finally, after a few days, the package has finally arrived. Oh, um, okay. So here we have the products, which is a baby blue hugaboo bear. So I think I said that right. But yeah, they're definitely a lot smaller than I was anticipating. But then on the flip side to this, I suppose that's actually a positive when it comes down to shipping and obviously storage costs when it goes into the Amazon warehouse. But anyway, I guess it's now time to go ahead and list these on the Amazon dashboard. Right, so after a few attempts of trying to get the product listed on Amazon and then also having to figure out how I'm actually going to get them shipped into the warehouse, it was literally all a learning process in itself. So all I have to do now is go ahead and label each one of the units with a unique barcode and then package them all up and schedule a collection with UPS. Okay, so it's been a few days since the collection of the package from UPS, but the package has actually now finally arrived at the Amazon warehouse. So 12 of the units are actually currently available, but two of them are actually being transferred to another Amazon fulfillment center. And it just so happens that while I was checking the Amazon seller app to keep track of the shipment, it turns out that we had indeed made a order today for eight pound and nine pence. But anyway, what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and try source our next set of products and basically just repeat the process over again. And hopefully this time we can actually order in some larger units and sets of products. So 
Essentially, since last filming, I've spent around two days just searching through hundreds of products from different wholesalers. The only products that I could find that were going to be profitable were either gated or branded products, which meant I wasn't actually able to sell them. But this isn't going to stop me from trying to carry on this challenge and at least make something work. So firstly, what I'm going to do is go ahead and try apply to some of these gated and branded products because I know that they are going to be far more profitable than anything else that I'm looking at. And then secondly, I'm going to be trying out retail arbitrage. So for this, I'm going to be heading over to my local stores and then we can see if we can pick up any sales or clearance items and then have them shipped into Amazon. Okay, so in order for me to get ungated from some of these products that I wish to sell, I firstly have to have an invoice from either the manufacturer or an official distributor. So after this, I went ahead and ordered some Lego products, as I know this is quite a well-known brand and I'm sure there's plenty of products that could potentially be profitable. But in the meantime, while I wait for these Lego products to arrive, I'm going to start my hunt and my journey for some of these sale and clearance items at my local store. This way I can get going and see if retail arbitrage is potentially another method that we could use. Okay, so I'll get straight to the point, I'll keep it simple. Basically, retail arbitrage didn't go well at all. So all in all, I visited a total of six different stores and I checked out every sales and clearance shelf that I could, practically scanned every item as well. The only item that I could find that potentially would be profitable was a Funk You Pop Pikachu character. Now, the only problem with this product was that I needed to become ungated in order to sell it. That would have meant I needed 10 units of the product and I also needed to show an invoice from a distributor. And obviously that wasn't gonna be the case if I was getting them from a supermarket but don't get me wrong this was still a very interesting method to check out and go ahead and actually try but I just don't think I'll do it again as I definitely did waste a good couple of hours just riding around town or whether you want to drive around in order to obviously go check out multiple stores and then hopefully just come across one product that will only make you a couple of dollars okay so the Lego products have now arrived after just two days which is ideal So yeah, here we have the Lego products that I ordered. Hopefully you can see it there. Um, I've now passed on the invoice to Amazon in the hopes that we can get ungated from the Lego brand. I've also put in some more time into some product research and I looked into the Baby Bear soft toys again and I actually came across another product that's quite profitable. So I've just gone ahead and ordered 28 units of this product as I believe these actually have a much higher profit margin percentage than the ones I was originally selling. And just to give you guys a quick update on the sales so far throughout this challenge, we've managed to do 10 units so far of those baby bear soft toys and for revenue we've managed to do 79 pounds 91 pence okay so i've just received an email back from amazon saying that my request for the lego brand has now been accepted but on top of that last night i managed to actually do some more product research so i managed to come across two sets of profitable products and again they're actually soft toys as well so all in all i now have around 16 units coming for one product and then the other products i have around 12 units coming these are going to be the last batch of products that I actually order in for this challenge as I've actually used up most of the budget now with only a little bit left to pay for shipment to send them into the Amazon warehouse and I will likely wait for these new units of products to come in that way I can just put all the products that I currently have into a large shipment and send them off to Amazon so as I just mentioned this will be the last shipment sent into Amazon as we have a total of 66 units of products being sent in another thing that I didn't know about but it turns out that Amazon actually requires uh, that certain products need to be sent in with prep bags. So for all of my baby soft toys, I've had to put them all into potty bags that must also show a suffocation warning as well. So this is also going to be another expense that I need to factor in. Okay, so it's now been about a week since the last shipment was delivered into Amazon. And it's now officially the last day of this challenge, which means I can actually go ahead and run through the results with you guys. Okay, so I know this is probably a bit too up close, but I just wanna show you guys the Amazon sell app. So what I'll do is I'll quickly refresh it for you guys so you can see this real and as you can see there it's showing the last 30 days and the reason for this is because I'm going to count the challenge from the 30 days of the first initial order and then from there we can see the sales of 127 pounds and then I'll show you the total units as well so in the last 30 days we've managed to do 15 units as well 
Now, so we can further break down those numbers and actually see how much of it was profit, I've gone ahead and whipped up a spreadsheet. Okay, so here I've gone ahead and listed all of the products that were sold in the last 30 days on Amazon. I've also listed all of the units sold, the combined revenue number from that product, the combined Amazon fees as well, and the cost of goods. And then lastly, we have the tally, which is the profit or loss from that product. So from here, we can actually see that out of the three products that were selling on Amazon, two of them were profitable, but whereas as the Lego Star Wars toy wasn't so profitable and I kind of had an idea it wouldn't as I originally only ordered these set of products simply so I could get ungated from the Lego brand. So the moment you've probably been waiting for throughout the whole video is did we make profit or not? Well in fact we did we made £4.58 which converts into $5.60 so it's not much but at least we made a tiny bit of profit and to be fair at the beginning of the challenge I would have been happy just to break even knowing that I now learned the process of how to sell on Amazon and then below that we can see all of the expenses that have been charged to me throughout this challenge and we did actually manage to stay pretty close to my original budget so in total I'd spent £323.96 which converts into $396.06 so I did quite well to stay within budget and it's just a shame that we didn't get to see all of the units being sold that way we can actually take this budget and then see how much profit that would have made us had all of the units been sold but I mean I did have an idea that this probably would happen as we also had to deal with delays and waiting times for all these shipments to go into Amazon and all of these products aren't always just going to immediately sell. So my final thoughts for this challenge, I think Amazon could be a great way of making money online, especially if you can go and hit the market with an extremely profitable product. And if you can work with a much larger budget, which enables you to order hundreds, if not thousands of units, I can most certainly see this working well. But the problem is that this is definitely a lot easier said than done, especially using the method that I've been doing throughout this challenge, which is obviously ordering through wholesalers because they of course need to make profit on top of that as well and another thing is if you do happen to try deal with say hundreds or thousands of units of a product there's no guarantee that they're actually all going to sell or move fast enough and the last thing is going to have to be Amazon fees which is just ridiculously high because again looking back at the spreadsheet for these units sold I actually spent more money on Amazon fees than I did the cost of goods and it just makes you think like how or why is it like that so ideally from here on out I will probably continue to pursue Amazon FBA and continue to test it out as I have been doing but for my next video challenge on Amazon it will probably be where I go and source these private label products from China and then have them branded and then shipped into Amazon over here and that way we can test out to see if this is any more profitable than the way we've been doing it in this challenge but anyway that's all for this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please make sure to drop this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already so yeah I'll see you guys in the next one take care and bye for now